Hey there, it's Jane from the blog chalkingupsuccess.com and today I'm sharing an IKEA hack with the mop mini storage chest. I've already wiped this little IKEA mop chest over with a damp cloth to remove any dust and now I'm just going to make a template for the farmhouse star quilt design. I've got an A3 piece of paper and I'm going to cut it to the size of the IKEA mop cabinet and I've just placed the paper over the top of the cabinet and press my fingers along the outline so I could see what I needed to cut. If you're painting the IKEA mop six drawer chest then you should end up with a square piece of paper if you do this. Fold the piece of paper in half and then in half again. And here's a tip, if you prefer to use my template you can download it from the subscriber library on my blog and I've split the template into two halves of A4 paper to make it easier for you to print out. Now open up the paper and fold the square of paper from corner to corner and then fold in half again. Next you can use a pencil to draw along the fold lines. And now you can draw in the lines that you need for whichever farmhouse quilt design block you'd like to use. Once you've drawn in the lines on the paper template, write the initial of each colour that you're going to be using into the corresponding part of the template. This will keep you on track once you begin painting. So now I've removed the drawers ready for painting and I'm just mixing up um, some primer here. And you can see I'm taking some primer from the tin, putting it into a jar and I'm just going to add a little bit of water to water it down a bit. And not too much, just probably maybe a teaspoon or so and then I'll give it a good mix here with the paintbrush to make sure it's well integrated. And I'm going to give the, this IKEA mop uh, body and the drawers a coat of white water-based um, wood primer. And why I'm using a primer on this is because the mop cabinet is made of untreated birch plywood and it's important to use a primer on raw wood to prevent it from absorbing the chalk paint. Chalk paint is not the cheapest of paints and I'm not going to waste any of my lovely paint by having it soak into the wood so that's why I'm using primer. The primer will do the job of sinking into the wood and my lovely chalk paint will just sit on top. Uh, I'm using primer on the outside of all four sides of the drawers and I'm priming the outside body of the mop mini chest but not the inside because I'm not going to be painting that. And now I'm mixing up some chalk paint and I'm doing the same thing with this as I did with the primer. I've just put some chalk paint into a separate jar and I've added a little bit of water and I'm mixing it up until it's like a thick cream. I'm going to give the IKEA mop chest one or two coats of white paint. I'll see how it looks after the first coat and if that's enough I'll stop there otherwise I'll give it a second coat. And you can use any colours you like to create the farmhouse star quilt design on this IKEA mop mini storage chest. I'm using chalk paint in white for the base. And by the way if you like this tutorial please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because if you do that Google will see oh somebody likes this video maybe we should show it to more people and then more people will be able to see the tutorial and it really helps me a lot thanks so now the IKEA mop is painted with base color chalk paint and the paint is dry now it's time to transfer the pattern onto the front of the IKEA chest uh, I don't have a long ruler so I'm using this piece of card to make the lines across the diagonal of the chest And then I'm just using a pencil to draw the lines onto the mop exactly as they are on the template. And the good thing about making a template is that you can use it to make sure that you draw in the lines correctly. If you make a mistake, um, just use a pencil rubber to remove the incorrect lines. 
The IKEA Mop storage chest is the perfect small space organizer for your desk, for your craft room, playroom, or even your pantry and kitchen, and it's super affordable. If you're interested in tackling your own IKEA mop hack, then I really encourage you to go over to my blog at chalkingupsuccess.com and read the full tutorial. Because as with all of my tutorials here on YouTube, this is kind of the practical side, but the blog is more of the theory side and it gives you far more information than I could ever give in a YouTube video. Just type mop or IKEA into the search bar at the top of the blog and the project will come up straight away. I'll also leave a link to the blog post in the description below this video. The next step will be to draw in the lines with a marker pen. Now that the template has been transferred onto the front of the IKEA mop, check and double check that the lines are correct. Then use a marker pen to fill in the lines of the template. I used a black marker pen because I wanted my farmhouse star quilt block design to be in black and white. But if you choose another colour for your contrast colour, then you'll also need to use that colour marker pen to fill in the lines on your template. Once the lines have been drawn in with the marker pen, it's time to fill in the contrasting colour with paint. I'm using black acrylic paint because that's just what I had on hand. And I'm using a small paintbrush to fill in the paint uh, for the contrast colour. And I'm making sure to paint next to the lines really carefully that I don't go over. And it's going to take me a while to finish all of this, but once it's finished, I'm going to leave it for a couple of hours until it's completely dry to the touch. And then it will be time to move on to the next step, which will be to seal the paint and protect it. So the paint is dry and now I'm giving it a coat of clear wax because the wax will protect the paint finish. Um, ensuring that it lasts longer. I'm using Annie Sloan clear wax, but any clear furniture wax will do really. If you need a tutorial for applying clear wax, then take a look at part four of my bookcase makeover post on the blog. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description below, but you can also find it uh, by searching bookcase on the blog. Now that the IKEA mop is painted and waxed, um, I could just leave it there but I'm going to take my IKEA hack a step further by giving my mini storage chest a distressed look. This time I'm going to take the easy route by using white wax to distress the mop chest instead of using the sandpaper method. I'm using a wax brush and I'm gently brushing some white wax over the front of the mop chest. The wax shows up against the black and makes the wood look distressed. After about 24 hours, the wax on the painted IKEA mop will be set and ready for buffing. And here's the end result. I'm using my mop as a space saving desk organizer for all the bits and bobs that accumulate on my corner desk. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me and um, I'll see you next time.